Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali A. Thank you for tuning in for episode 13 of Ali A's Quest. If you missed episode 12 or any of the other parts, there'll be linked down below in the description. Go and check them out. Last episode was pretty crazy. We finally destroyed the Goblin Village. Actually found a second one. And uh, at the end of the episode, we came across these dudes. We just came across an elephant chilling with some sharks. These guys are actually sharks. They aren't dolphins. Um, if we go in the water, I think they may attack me or at least be hostile. Ooh. Oh gosh, yeah. Wow, 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 <laughs> they're hostile, <laughs> get out the water, elephant, please, save yourself, sir, save yourself, and, but these sharks have a 10% chance of actually dropping um, a shark egg, which would be crazy, which means we can add to our egg collection another awesome, awesome animal. These guys here are stingrays, so I'm going to leave them alone, I'm going to see if I can take these guys on, oh, we got some, oh, shark teeth, okay, I wasn't sure if we got them, oh, nice. I'm gonna take that. What are you gonna drop, my friend? Oh, more shark teeth. Thank you. Oh, we got three shark teeth. What's this dude doing in the water? What the heck? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Now, these guys, these are stingrays. Unfortunately, they aren't manta rays. You can get manta rays, and manta rays are like the bigger, friendlier equivalent, which you can actually tame a lot easier and actually ride. Actually, the stingrays you can't even tame. That is evil, mate. Uh, but this episode, we are going to be going to there. We're going to be going to that little dungeon we found, the second one of those we found, and doing a little bit of exploration. Uh, and as always, thank you for all of the support. We keep on hitting 10,000 likes, which is awesome. So thank you so, so much, guys. Keep on hitting the like button. I'll keep on making more and more videos for you guys. Now, our arm is a little bit depleted, but we have got new iron boots, actually, which is pretty awesome. I've got a load of stuff in here. You can see we've got some egg, eggs for snakes. You've got some shark teeth. We've got loads and loads of carrots to add to our farm once we get home. And uh, we've also got the Komodo a dragon egg as well. Oh, more sharks. More shark. Wow. <gasps> this guy's. This guy looks big. Now, apparently, the big sharks are the bigger likelihood of dropping eggs. What's that? Okay, I think that's just normal stuff. And what I'm going to do is turn off my shaders. The game's not going to look quite as nice, but it means I can actually take this dude on. Holy cow. He's strong. Nah, mate. I'm taking you on, bro. I'm taking you on, bro. Jeebus. Am I even hitting him? There we go. Oh. Ow! Ow! Oh, they're coming, mate. They're coming in groups. They're attacking me. They're attacking me. Unfortunately, I don't think we've got an egg so far. We just got some more teeth, but I'll take teeth, I guess. Wow, this dude's huge. He looks huge. Mate, you coming for me, bro? You coming at me, bro? You can't You can't get me when I'm out of the water, buddy. You can't get me when you're out of the water. Hey. <gasps> no way. 10% chance, and we've got ourselves two... Shark eggs. Dude, I cannot wait to get back home. Um, just to hatch all of the animals we've got. Now, I think there may have been some teeth unless I picked them up. Actually, to be fair, I think I may have picked them up. Oh, that's a manta ray over there. Dude, that's a manta ray. That's a manta ray. Let me turn on the uh, shades again. This could look, look so much nicer with the shaders. What was over there? I think I spotted something. I think it may have been a penguin. We're getting a little bit sidetracked here, but holy cow. Manta ray, manta ray. Where are you? Where'd they go? Manta? Manta rays? Just wanted to be friends. Here we go. Here we go. Come here, mate. Can I tame it? Oh, yeah. Gotta be out of this mid, haven't I? <gasps> oh! Oh! Am I riding a manta ray? Oh, what? No, I'm not. It kicked me off. Come here, mate. Come here. Oh, you gotta, t you gotta like, get it lots and lots of times. Oh, no. Man, I'm gonna make you my own manta ray. You're gonna become mine, boy. You're gonna become mine. <laughs> I think you just got to keep... It's a bit like a horse. It's got to keep on jumping on it. And then eventually, it will listen to you, mate. Eventually, I think maybe this dude. <laughs> I'm not even sure which one I've been trying to ride. Come here, mate. Come here. Is that it? Nah. I don't think you need a saddle for it. Was a saddle work? I don't want to waste my saddle on a BK Randy. I'm just a random uh, manta ray out in the water. Wow, it just doesn't like me, dude. It just doesn't like me. Should I kill it? <laughs> Should I kill it? <laughs> you can ride them. But, as you can see, it takes a little bit of time. I feel so bad killing nice animals. But maybe I get an egg. <laughs> I'm an egg egg addict. So, those are the manta rays. And if you right-click them enough, you definitely can ride them. But, as you can see, they weren't having it. I'm going to have to make, like, a big open water space. Or find an open water space near the house where I can, like, put the shark and stuff. Because the shark's only going to spawn in open waters. So... I can't just, like, <laughs> just put it out in my garden in, like, a tiny patch of water. That'd be a little bit cruel, I'm not gonna lie. So, I got Wait, is that jellyfish? Oh, sick. Do I have any glass on me? No, I don't. What happens if I kill it? Oh, sick. 
You just get yourself a little bit of um, slime balls. Now, what's that over there? Okay, it's just random, just random pumpkins. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just enjoying exploring at the moment. So we are going to go into that place over there. Just checking out the landscape, you know. You dig? Oh yeah, that's the um, that's my friends. Is the second goblin sport village that we found. And uh, I'm not too interested in taking those guys on right now because they are a huge, huge pain. So I think another shark should try and take them on. We'll take one more shark and then we'll head back to base and just drop off all our stuff in the self-made, self-made witch's hut home, basically. Right, let me see if I can take this. This guy doesn't look quite as big as uh, the other one. I think the reason they got the egg from the other dudes is because how freaking huge he was. He's absolutely massive. Right, one more hit. He's got to be down after that. Yeah, boy. Thank you. We'll drop all of that off there. Now we're going to make sure is I don't throw these eggs on the floor in the wrong position. Oh look, it's a fox. And spawn the shark like a mile away from home. So I'm going to head back now, guys. We've done a lot of exploring, a lot of, lot, not exploring, a lot of fun just playing with the animals for the first part here. Hopefully you guys like the manta rays. Hopefully you guys like the sharks. I'm very happy I got the sh myself the shark egg. Uh, the manta rays, we'll give it another go. We'll give it another go in the future when these little fatties actually want to be tamed. But at the moment, they're like, I don't want to play with you. I don't want to play with you, Ali, eh? You're not my friend. I'm like, okay. You don't want to play with me? I'm not going to play with you. I'm just going to have to kill you guys off. <laughs> it's because you can get such awesome drops from killing some of them that... Um, Sometimes it's worth, even if they're cool animals, just hitting them a few times with a diamond sword and seeing if they drop anything cool. So this is the village we explored last time, if you missed that. I'll definitely check it out within episode uh, uh, episode 12. I know, elephant, I know you're there. I know, <laughs> what the heck is this dude doing up there? What's your buddy doing up there? They, they have pretty rubbish trades, yeah, they got useless trades, dude. Just leave them alone. Just leave them alone. Useless villages are useless for like, oh, you want to trade me? I'll, uh, I'll give you... Um, one piece of chicken for 10 emeralds. And I'm like, um, no. The emus, actually, those guys that have just ran past, are actually really cool um, animals that can be tamed uh, fairly easily and actually turned into lots of different types of emus. Like, sounds crazy. We're going to have to give that a go. I think we've got emus near the house, actually. So we'll definitely have to give that a go. I'm kind of missing home, to be honest. I'm kind of a guy that likes to just build up around the house quite a lot. I hope you guys are enjoying the exploration. I'm just going to go back to the witch's hut briefly. Drop off our stuff. Maybe even sleep. I'm not sure how dark it is. It's not too dark. Um, and uh, yeah, to sort ourselves out before we go into the depths of the uh, little uh, sort of dungeon that we found. A little special dungeon. We probably have to make ourselves some extra chests actually. Just to fit in all of the stuff that we've got. Hello? Imagine if this is a villager in there. And it's like... What are you doing? This is my house. I'm like, ah, no, I think you'll find it's mine now, buddy. <laughs> I think you'll find it's mine. Oh, okay, we've got two chests there, which is awesome. What I'm going to do is break that, break that. Thank you. Oh, there's a hole there, but whatever. Put that there as a second piece. Drop off all of the awesome stuff that we got that we don't need quite yet, like all of that. Thank you, Sean. I'm going to get myself... Do you have any string? I'm going to get myself this. Thank you. I'm going to halve that, actually. We shouldn't need too many. I'm going to make myself a bow, because I still haven't made myself a bow. Ali a big noob, I know, I know, I know. Let's turn all of this into... Oh, lots of wood. Thank you. I'm going to drop that off. Uh, we'll drop that off. We'll, we'll keep ourselves with 64. That's a pretty good amount of wood, just in case something goes really wrong. And we'll make ourselves loads of sticks. Loads of them, mate. Thank you. And if I remember correctly... Yeah, boy, I actually made the bow in the right order this time. Normally, I'm terrible. Normally, I always get the order mixed up. Um, so, 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 do we have any spare coal? We do. I think I'm going to make as many torches as I can using this stuff. 56 torches, that's a good amount of torches. And I think we actually, wow, we don't actually have that much meat. Wow, okay. I'm going to have to grab myself some spare food. We've got any food here, we've got some bread, we've got some chicken, oh, cooked pork chops, bread, bread's not, gr I'm going to leave a bread there for the moment, I think what I'm going to do is cook that, grab that, make myself even more torches, just because torches, man, you can never get enough of torches when you go in cave exploring. Whew, 
Alright. Do you think we're pretty prepped, dude? I think we're pretty prepped. Unfortunately, you can't eat meat. You're a chicken. <laughs> You're a chicken. Dude, look at all these eggs. We've got teeth. Teeth, I think you can make some pretty cool stuff with as well. So the fact that we found that is actually better than you may first think. Uh, so we'll leave that cooking. I think we're good. I think it's... Wow, dude, you want to deny me the sleep? Let's see if we can find any more Komodo dragons before it gets dark. What's that? That's a cow. <laughs> that ain't a Komodo dragon. That's a cow. We got ourselves one Komodo dragon. Actually, we got ourselves two eggs. I can't remember. Something over there. Nope. 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 It's just empty. It's empty, I tell you. It's nighttime now. It's time for us to chill, I reckon. The sun has finally gone down. It's a new day. We've, we've killed some sharks. We've tried to tame some manta rays. It didn't actually work out too well, unfortunately. And uh, it's time to explore the awesome cave system. Let's grab ourselves that meat. So we've got a load of meat on stack just in case. I'm actually going to grab some coal again just in case. Just to have like loads of backups basically. And it's time, my friend, to take on some enemies. Oh, this bow's pretty sweet. Wow, this bow's powerful, man. Let's get rid of the mini map and see what the bow says. So the bow, arrow 17, swap arrows with comma, period, toggle with apostrophe. Huh. I guess that's just like, I guess that's just because you may have seen um, in a past episode, I actually made myself like a fire arrow. You can actually make yourself lots of cool different arrows within this. So I guess that's just to switch between all the different arrow setups you may have going on. That's pretty cool. I like that. Elephant, wish me luck. I'm about to, about to go into the claziness that is, wait, where is it? <laughs> but this is that, that over there. We've been in one of them before, but you guys told me that. And there is actually um, normally a second underground layer. So there's lots of underground layers to this place. It's pretty insane, I'm not going to lie. And uh, it's, it's not going to be easy. Even with my diamond sword, which is actually now about 50% usage, which is kind of scarily. Can I do the thing where I turn on... Is it control K? Okay, maybe I don't want to press something dumb. I just want to try and turn on the usages because within Ali's quest, it told me how many I had left of uh, usage of that item. So I'll work out how to turn that on next time. If you guys know, feel free to let me know. That'd be awesome. So let's see what's in here. What the heck? Is it broken? I haven't even touched it. Why is it broken? Or did, did I mine part of it? No, I'm pretty sure I didn't mine part of it. <laughs> it's already broken, the poor thing. All right, let's go in. Let's go in, dudes. The exploration is upon us. What can we find in here? Ooh, full chest of stuff. I'm gonna grab my spare pickaxe just in case. Grab myself all of the useful stuff. A book is pretty useful. Torches is always useful. Bread's always useful. Book is pretty useful. Actually, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna do that. A little bit of a switcheroo there. Sand's not too useful. I'm gonna leave the clothing just because it's cool and I like it, but like there's so many of it, it's just not just not needed, unfortunately. So we'll go and put that over there. And now this, this my friends, is where the real exploration begins. It's where it gets mad dark as well. So this, my friends, is, oh no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not, we're gonna go down one more level. This, this is the exploration area. Pardon me, so you can actually go, when it looks at one, two, three ways. And uh, those three ways will lead to some hopefully awesome, but maybe some scary places. So let's find out. All right, sweet. Let's break our way in and explore, my friends. We're going into area one. What can we find? Nobody knows it's a spawner. Ah! Wow. Okay. Okay, dude. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I see you. I see you. I see you. Beast. Oh my gosh, multiple snipers. Multiple snipers. Oh. Oh. Managed to get a torch in it though, which means it's down and out. But look at that action. Oh gosh, another spawner. Hey, buddies. Hey, friends. I'm here to uh, introduce myself. My name's Ali8. I'm playing a series called Ali's Quest. And you guys are currently being really annoying. <laughs> I'm putting another torch in there. Oh, I blocked off that one. Oh, what is that? What the heck? Fern. Wait, what? They're spawning still. Oh, mate, 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 mate. Is that because you have to put one on every corner? I guess you do. I was never sure. I always thought the one worked, but I guess they can come out of all the different ends. I'll put four in there. I just want to waste too much. Let's see what we've got in here. What I am going to do, actually, I think I can put that together to make a new bow. Look at that. Some technique. We've got ourselves a flower pot. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, fire resistance. 
Loads of sticks, loads of string, another book. A lot of, that's pretty decent stuff. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, another. You know what? I'm I'm kind of in love with these flower pots, dude. <laughs> these flower pots are awesome. So we can go this way, and it doesn't lead anywhere. Any flower pots? Nope. Whew. All right. So we could break this spawner. I don't know how much XP it gets us. Let's see how much XP it gets us. Let's give it a go. So we're thirty-one and a half. Uh, that's actually a pretty decent. That's not. That's not a bad amount of XP. Actually, I'm going to take it. I know that we're above thirty, so it's kind of pointless. But it's kind of worth it at the same time. Why not grab ourselves some extra experience if we can? All right. So that's one of the three areas explored. We have got this diamond pickaxe. I'm going to give us a little bit more of a go, actually. Dude, our diamond sword is kind of dead though. It's kind of, kind of scary. Not going to lie. Oh my gosh. Okay, hey buddies. Hey buddies. Welcome to Alie's quest. You are bad guys, so you must die. <laughs> you cannot be. Oh gosh, I gotta make sure of this. Actually, no, I'm gonna break it again. Break. Give me that experience. Thank you. More sticks. Cooked fish is actually pretty good, I think. Strength, mining fatigue. Wow, plus 500%. I would take that. Um, I think cooked fish are actually used to maybe even tame manta rays. It just sucks, because like, if I tame a manta ray out in that ocean, like, that's nowhere near close to my house. <laughs> so it's kind of pointless, unless like, I come back here at some point. Oh, another... I, I, I'm sure making these flower, flower things is really, really easy, but whatever. I like them. I like them, so I'm going to have them. All right, so that's two out of the three areas down, my friends. What is in this third area, buddy? What can we find? Guess it's down below in the comment section. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, let's look at another exit. Let's just get this guy down. Oh gosh, there's two of them. I like the hats though. Hey, it looks like I've got swimming hats on. Ow. Ow. What the? I literally couldn't get close to them because they were attacking in such perfect timing. Those dudes were pro attackers, mate. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? 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 Where did he come from? Swear he's literally spawned out of nowhere. Nah, mate. How much money have you got now? <gasps> 4,000. Dude, I think the spawners maybe give you a lot of money. I'm not sure. Okay, it's nothing here. Oh my gosh, 4,000 monies. Oh, cool, we got ourselves a hat. Oh, dude, I'm tempted to take that. This it looks pretty damn awesome. Oh, what the heck? Why would you ever want that? Some of the potions they find here is absolutely rubbish. I'm not going to lie. Not the gun to light. Another one of those uh, little flower pots. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be decorating the home once we come back. Anything up there that's useful? No, no, no. Uh, huh. Oh, that's the way we came. Okay, so we can go right here. Oh, what's up? Hey, look at this. this is, hey, there's some cake. There's some cake just for me. Look at this. Look at this. There's a cake just for me. Why am I covered in so many arrows? <laughs> look how many arrows there is just smashed into me. It's like, oh, oh, we, we heard you like arrows. So we decided to uh, give you a load of arrows. There we go. Look at that, me and my cake just chilling together. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Wow, so this has been quite an intense exploration, actually. More of the same stuff. Oh, more fish. You know what? I like that. I like myself some fish, because catching fish is actually quite a lot of effort, to be honest. Actually quite a lot of effort. All right, we've still got one more area to explore, which is this way. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Okay. I can hear enemies, though, and I'm guessing that maybe down below? I'm not sure. I sense them. My, uh, I've got quite a lot of uh, items, that's the only thing. Let's go down here and just take a look, because I don't think I went down to the second layer the first time I found a dungeon like this, so let's have a look. Spiders. Um, oh, an enchantment table. Uh-oh, is that a wolf? Dude, I do not want to take on another wolf. Oh, gosh. This place looks scary, so... You guys did warn me that um, this second layer is a lot harder and it lo looks seriously intense. I've got a lot of stuff on me. I'm tempted to go and grab maybe just that, like a second enchantment table, because that'd be quite cool. But the other directions scare me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The other directions definitely scare me. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, this place is... This place is intense. There's a dude that can pick up... Alright, sweet. Got myself an enchantment table. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to take this dude on. What up, bro? What up, what up, what up, what up? 
See you, buddy. Okay, this is insane. So, we, as you can see, if you look around here, there's definitely underground A's, but that mossy stone, all that reminds me of is when we found a werewolf and almost died pretty much. Oh, gosh. But I have spotted this. Give me some more books I'm not going to complain about. Anything around here? Oh. Oh, oh, a new bow. I don't really need another bow, though, to be honest. Should I get another bow just for the sake of having another bow so maybe I can enchant one? Or is it even worth it? Yeah, I may as well take it. I've got space, mate. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's good, though. That means... Oh, some... What the heck? Some BK Randy iron. I'm just going to go in a straight line. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Crazy dudes down here. I like their little tunics, man. I'm not going to lie. I like it. I like it. Um, What... Oh, wooden sword. Wow, I've never had a wooden sword before. It looks pretty cool. I quite like it. I like the design, bros. I like the design. All right, I'm not going to go, I don't think, downwards because... It looks like a pretty scary place. What? Is it iron or is it diamond? I think it's diamond. Look what we found. A snowboard. I don't really need that. Name tag. I don't think I need that either, but... Coal. Look at this. Lumberjack's hatchet. Efficiency and unbreaking. That's dope. Right, I don't really need that one, I guess. Stone brick. Should I take that for any purpose? Yeah, I'll replace it with that. Dude, look at this. Wait, what? how do I tell if it's diamond or... Okay, it's iron, it's iron. But it's a pretty sick one, I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty sick one. This is awesome, dude. We found a sick little hatchet thing. I like it. I like it a lot. Something this way. Doesn't look like it. Okay. This has turned out to be quite good, actually. Quite fruitful. But I heard lots of enemies around and about. Should I go this way a little bit to see what's up? Oh, gosh. Okay, they're fighting each other. Hey! <laughs> Look at these dudes. What are you doing? See ya. Ow. I helped you, bro. I killed the guy for you. You're not supposed to kill me. Oh, gosh. I forgot I hadn't put that thing on. Okay, hold on, dude. Hold on, just let me stop you from spawning. <laughs> just let me stop. Oh, what the heck? Another sick place, mate. Dude, we are finding some sick places. All right, I just want to make sure I don't pick up any rubbish. I want to make sure I'm picking up the monies. All right, so hopefully they shouldn't be able to spawn. All right, I feel kind of lucky that there aren't more enemies coming at me because this is quite a crazy place. Well, that's quite a cool attack, actually. I like it. <laughs> How much money do we have? 5,000. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so what was in here? Golden leggings. That's quite cool. I want to say that just because it's quite cool. Uh, saddle. Uh, strength. Can I stack that? Damn it, I can't stack it. Right, I'm going to take that. Saddle, I think, is quite rare. Um, I may get rid of that. Can I stack name tags? I can. Awesome. So what's this? I, the only place I'm interested in right now is this area here. Because this looks awesome. Okay, hope that's an end. I can hear water. I can't hear any enemies, which is good. Because normally when you can hear enemies, it's bad. <laughs> it means they're coming for you. Dude, what is this place? What is this? like a pre-made area. Oh gosh, run. <laughs> nah, mate. Nah, mate. Now, I should be able to poke this dude. Oh. Okay, that was close. That was really close. I can't pick any more money up at the moment. There we go. I can't. You just got to make sure you've always got one free slot. Wait, have I got the maximum amount of money I can hold? No. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's see what we've got in here. Music disc. Melon seed. You've got all that stuff at home, thank goodness. Pump pumpkin seeds i think we've got a pumpkin um oh my gosh so much stuff dudes what do i not need that's a question that's a question i'm tempted to say just because i think you can make saddles to be fair but music disc i'm never going to use i think that's a music player should i just play it and see what it comes out as just just to see i quite like it it's chilled I like it. I'm going to leave it on, dudes. I quite like it. So this is the area we found. Looks like there could be, like, some bad guys above us. Oh, tempered blade. That's sick. So I think that's yeah, definitely an iron sword. But our current one is about to die. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, that's, we found some really sick items. Some spare iron. Um, 
I'm tempted to say... Man, item efficiency is hard. I just want to make sure nobody's creeping up on me, dude. Imagine if a creeper's right behind me, that would suck. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a really useful item as well. This is, of course, the anvil. Oh, man, what do we not need? Man, 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 decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, let's just be, let's be realistic here. We can make that at any time. We can... I'm tempted to keep it, but I've got four. You know what? We'll place the old sword with that sword, I guess. We will... Get rid of the stone fences and take some iron. Coal. I really... You know what I should do, actually? Is grab that coal. I probably have a lot at home, hopefully. And just turn the rest of it into torches, just so i got one space free. And grab that. That, that should be the most efficient way. And then we've got an anvil as well. This is crazy. I don't know if I need, like, do I need a music player? What's up there? Oh, was that some sort of light source? Oh, it's redstone. Yeah, that's what it is. Block of redstone. That's pretty cool. Haha, <laughs> I like it, dude. That's sick. Should I take the music player? I'm tempted to finish it down here. And not actually go back up. I really want to go home, guys. If any of you guys are missing home and are like, Ali, plant the eggs. I hear you, dude. Trust me. I want to go home as well. But there's a lot of exploration to be had in this area. I'm doing it quite gently and quite sort of tenderly just to make sure that we don't do anything stupid. Um, but we've explored a lot of areas. There's been some really cool little places like this music room, the enchantment area. But this, er like, areas like that, I do not like. I do not like. <laughs> Okay, we pretty much on a full circle there. We didn't... Did we go this way? Maybe got... <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Woo! These guys probably could start attacking me straight through the wall. Well, look where we've landed. Jeepers, do these holes, man. Why is there so many holes all the time? I swear they're just designed just to make people fall down and for bad things to happen. So this looks like it's just going to lead into a cave. I did not intend to fall down here at all. But we did, and we almost died because of it, which is actually kind of scary. I'm going to fill this in, dude. I do not like this at all. Um, what can I do to replace this? Right, no, I'm going to get rid of that for a second. I'm going to pick up some of this dirt. Jeez, man. Freaking just falls. Oh. <laughs> That's a great idea, Ali, eh? Good job, friend. Good job. Oh, I do not want to go down there. That is not fun at all. Let's leave that alone. Let's just... Oh, my gosh. Okay, there's another hole. Okay, that leaves down to a similar area. Look. I can see redstone down there. That's probably a pretty scary area to go down. I'm going to go around here and just... Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So this leads back into a dungeon area. That's interesting. Did not expect that in the slightest. Jeez, this place is so big. Oh, look. I didn't even put that there. That's been there already. There's tables. There's, there's chests. There's a furnace. It's as if it's like someone's house. And it just leads into a random cave. Huh. Hey, there's some iron here. This is crazy. Is this... Okay, that must be where we got the enchantment table. We can go down even further. But we probably don't want to do that quite yet. I told you guys I wouldn't go all the way down to the bottom. Which we've accidentally almost done now. <laughs> Let's just see what else is around. Jeez, this place is so huge, man. This place is crazy. Just offers up so many opportunities. What I don't want to do is just get lost. Oh, fall down any holes. Like that. Luckily, I haven't come across any spawners recently. What the? What the heck's going on here? Okay, hey, buddies. Hey, buddies. Start attacking each other. Start attacking each other. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. Where do these guys even come from? Okay, there must be a spawner somewhere. Oh, there's one there. Oh my days. Guys, I think... Oh, we've got more stuff growing. This is insane, dude. These caves aren't just caves. They're like... Oh, maybe we can get up that way as well. Ow, that hurt. Luckily, I come prepared... And I use it really slowly, so it didn't even work. <laughs> okay, you know what? We need to get out of here. 
Where did my gold go? I swear I had more gold than that. What the heck? Did I spend some of the gold? Gold? Where'd you go? All right, let's try and make our way back. We don't really need to go back anyway, specifically. I guess this is a cool place to finish it off since this is actually where we found, uh, I believe it was the enchantment table we found here, I think. I think it is, unless it's just a replica room. No, I think it is. Jeepers, this place is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I swear I had more money than that, though. Wait, did, did I lose money? Did I... Did I get too much money? I don't even know. Guys, I think that's going to finish off this episode. <laughs> it's been pretty damn insane. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Uh, it's been really, really intense. I'm going to finish it off in here, actually, just because this area is pretty cool. Um, we started off the episode by just getting ourselves some shark, um, getting ourselves some shark, uh, eggs, which was absolutely insane. Did not expect that. We have ended it by, uh, exploring this absolutely crazy, crazy area, getting ourselves anvils, a spare enchantment thing, tons and tons of stuff. Absolutely insane. If you've enjoyed this episode, smash that like button. We keep on hitting 10,000, which is absolutely awesome. Make sure you're subscribing and tuning in for the next episode, which is going to be awesome. We may probably end up going back home and dropping everything off and uh, maybe getting ourselves some of those new animals. But cheers for watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode.